day guys truck some water here and I don't know how to start off this vlog it's gonna be a really different kind of vlog than y'all are used to let's kind of rewind back to the beginning after I did the video review of um, Micah's 800 horsepower 6.3 liter power show tabby popping up now I did the rest of the vlog series on the new mods I got for the truck well I went back to export them and my GoPro Hero 5 Black has finally died. It croaked. The audio sounded like you're in a fishbowl. I tried deleting the files, re-uploading them. I tried resetting the format on the GoPro. I tried every possible thing to get the GoPro to stop making that audio thing and it just completely died. And the more research I did online, this one of the symptoms of a dying GoPro Hero 5 and or 6. So, I have a new hero. It's the GoPro Hero 6 Black. Let me know how you guys like it. If you can tell the difference in the, either the video or audio quality or something like that. But we're going to get right into this vlog. So this is going to be kind of those vlogs where I talk about. Talk about with an overlay of video. So the mods I got for the truck. I pulled the truck in the backyard. Took off the mods. I took off the, um, the toolbox, the bed rail, and the bed, and the bed rail cover. And... I took those off because I'm replacing those as part of the mod. I get some of you guessed it, but that's what the mods were for. So I took those off and come to find out the owner, whoever put them on, I don't know if it's the previous owner or not. They did the previous owner or whoever did everything perfect to the truck except for this one thing. The diamond plate that covers that part right there. There was no foam in between the diamond plate and the bed itself. So it would rub, it scratched, um, a little bit of surface rush, a hair bit of surface rush, nothing you could rub, wouldn't rub off with your finger. But that's what was causing that right there. They drilled through the bed. So I so I had to order an extra part in, so it took a little bit longer to make the video because I had to wait for this extra part. It was the black diamond plate bed cover right or the bed rail cover right there you'll see here later on the vlog i'm gonna show you all the stuff i got for the truck um and all that stuff so that's what it kind of happened it sucked though i put wax on it wax the paint that was still good on it but guys fyi when you put something like that down on your bed on the bed side bed rail cover um please 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 Put foam down. Don't be that guy, and don't drill too many holes. And you know, they drilled a bunch of holes in that daggum bed on the side of the bed rail right there, and I was not happy about it. Let me tell you. Um, eventually, I'm gonna have it put in the shop, and I probably do the paint correction and whatnot, and um, have them fill in the holes and stuff like that. Sand, sand it down, repaint it, and whatnot. But for right now, the the black um, bed rail cover will do just fine it's waterproof it's not going to rust anymore nothing like that so i'm not worried about that but after that point the toolbox looked great it just had the mechanism that holds the uh, lid up it's kind of old so we didn't want to hold it up um the bed rail the bed rail tie down rails right there on the end the grandpa rails those look great so all that's going to be for sale soon um but anyway, so that's what was going on with the thing. And plus, if my GoPro dies, I had to get a new GoPro. So, without further ado, let's show you all the new stuff for the truck. Now, I was just sitting in AC because, um, you know, it's, it's hot as balls out here for some reason. All right, guys, you ready to see this? Welcome to the D-Grandpa stage of the K1500. That's right, guys, we got the black... Um, bed rail cover right here. The diamond plate looks so good. And then you got the tarot cover. It's kind of dirty right now. I'm going to wash it. We got the, the uh, tarot cover right here. It's a roll up one. And then I'll show you here in a second. I'll put you on a tripod. Look underneath here. I got the uh, the toolbox underneath the bed right there. I mean, it makes the truck look 10 times better. I mean, just look at that. If you stand back. I'll give you a walk around from this side over to the other side, but look how much better the truck looks now with the tar tar tarno cover on it. I've gotten so many compliments from it. Um, anything from like where I get it, it looks so good on the truck. It makes the truck look so much better. I mean, it just, it makes the truck look 10 times better than what it did with the old grandpa stuff on it. it just looks a lot cleaner, a lot sleeker. 
it looks absolutely fantastic. So how you unroll the tarno cover is basically you have two latches, one right here, and then one over here you have to do simultaneously. So I'm gonna put you all on the tripod and then we'll unroll it and then I'll show you some other stuff about it. Okay guys, now I'm gonna release the, the uh, tarno cover and we're gonna roll it up. I'm gonna show you the toolbox that I got too. So basically you just go to these two tabs, reach over and pull them both down at the same time. That way it pops that up. So then all you gotta do now, it's got bars that go across the middle of it. So it's real easy to roll up and it's Velcro on the side. Um, it's already been through weather. I've tested it, it's waterproof. So that's also a good plus. The one thing I do wish I had a lockable tailgate so I can lock this and people just couldn't get in. I mean, if anyone wants to get in your truck bed, they're going to, they can just take a knife and cut it. But it's just for a little bit of extra security. So basically you just roll this up, see it right about there. You got these little hangers right here with the little clip things right here. You pull them over and you hook them. There's one on each side of your uh, thing. And now you, you can roll it up a little bit more if you need to. And now you got full access to your embed toolbox. How they're mounted onto the truck is they have three clamps that mount. It's a um, uh, screw clamp. So you just mount three positions, one at the end, one in the middle, and one at the front of the, uh, well, front of the, kind of the cab right here where the bed is. And the same thing on this side, it mounts and it clips on and they, they don't go anywhere. And there's weather stripping all the way around so to make sure there's no water gets in. So now this toolbox, it's an in-mounted bed toolbox. I forgot the exact dimensions on it, but it doesn't go all the way bar to bar. But I will say it fits everything in my toolbox I had before, except for the, the tent I had, like the canopy tent and the two lawn chairs I had or the foldable chairs. Um, so I'm gonna show you what's in my toolbox and can give you a tour of that. Okay, let's give you a quick tour of it. Let's see here. Lock. Opens right up. It's got two little, um, uh, this, oh crap, the cylinder thingies, the hydraulic, I forgot what you call them. Anyways, so what is in my toolbox? Well, on this side, of the, well, we'll start with this. On the top of the tool, I got safety glasses, paracord, mini shovel, uh, bike, um safety rope thing where you like tie a bike to like a post or something lock um my inu my inu straps another pair of safety glasses and a um a little mini uh mp3 radio you can hook up to your phone over here i have my tie down straps and then my um my recovery rope over here this recovery rope uh hook that i put on the back of the hitch ice remover i've got trash bags the guy, these are a lifesaver, especially when you travel. Gosh, this was the best $2 investment I ever had. Uh, moving over, I've got a um, tire iron that I can, you know, remove all my tires for have a flat, God forbid, knock on truck. Um, football, just for funsies. Um, I got coolant, transmission oil, motor oil, and wipes to wipe down the truck. Um, guys, even on a newer truck, this is always good to have because you never ever know what could happen. My truck could break down, a brand new one could break down. You just never ever 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 know what could happen. So having extra stuff like this, even to help someone else out, is fantastic. So I highly recommend doing that. Um, I've got wipes, microfiber cloth, tire shine, um, wax, spray wax, Tire, more tire shine and more wipe down cloths from armor all so yeah it fits pretty much everything my other toolbox did plus and even more and it's very compact and the best part i like is when you close this you know it's closed like it's latched it's not going to go anywhere and it just looks so daggum good in the back of this truck like it just it's like it's it was purposely built for this truck so now we're going to roll the uh tarno cover back over it and we'll go off from there. So now to unroll it, you just re reverse the process to um, that you roll it. So undo the little strap things right here. It kind of sometimes a pain because they're kind of close to the window, but just undo them and let them hang down. Okay. And then all you gotta do is just unroll it like this, and the bars will go right into place. You just unroll it. 
that. Hook it in right here. And it'll make a click sound when it clicks in. Like that. You can hear it click in. It, it doesn't go anywhere at that point. Then you come over on your sides. Move them down like this. And then your thing is... It's fully ready to go. All right, guys, the best part, and I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little rubber lip right here. That way, if, when it rains and the water beats off, if anything does get in here, it goes right off on the tailgate. So you just plug your tailgate like you normally do, and bam, you got a watertight seal almost all the way around it, and it just looks so daggum good. It's got a little bit of flex to it. While driving down the road, I have noticed it does flex a little bit, but is not nowhere near as bad as you think i love it it just makes the truck look so so much better okay guys i want you to comment down below what you think of the um of what it looks like i mean i i just i just love the way it looks i mean it looks so daggum good like i said um it just completes the truck it seems like it's like it's like it was meant to be on the truck and um Man, this looks so daggum good with like the wheels and that, especially when all this cr trim and all that gets taken off and all that stuff and blacked out windows, tents coming soon, guys. I just got to replace the windshield first, but that's going to look so daggum good. I have another truck mod coming in or just came in actually. And uh, all I'm going to say about it is it's going to make these wheels and tires look even better than what they do now. So, um... Yeah, just comment down below what you think of the tarnal cover. All of the parts for it will be listed down in the description. The the tar the tarnal cover, excuse me, the bed rails, and the toolbox will be listed down below in the links. Um, check them out if you want them for your K1500. Mine's a six and a half foot bed, um, so that's the bed specs on that. So it all fit perfectly. There was no guessing, no e estimation, nothing like that. So I highly recommend this for your K1500 guys. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the hard ones, the hard top ones that are tri-fold because usually when you do that, they only fold up to like here or you have to fold them all the way up and they lean up against your vehicle. And I'm not a huge fan of that. But I know I understand from the extra security of it, I can understand where you're coming from with that. But anyways, um, thank you all so much for watching the videos and supporting the channel, guys. It means so much to me that all of you take time out of your day to watch my videos it's unreal the support from all of you that i get um i can't thank you all enough for that so yeah d grandpa and the k1500 is going very very well so uh it's finally happening guys you guys have been begging for it so um it's finally going down so like i said thank you all so much for watching the video if you like the video leave a like if you're new to the channel join the trucks and water family subscribe down below um, I'm gonna have a new challenge coming up probably in next one next week's videos if you hit us X amount of subscriber amount I'll give away another GoPro so thank you all so much for watching all of you have a great day and remember never give up on your dreams